Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is where I try to unlock some of the areas of the English language that can be confusing for students. And in this short video, we're going to look at choices. Okay then, so choices. Uh, specifically today, we're going to review the word either. Now, we all have choices that we need to make every day, um, and in some cases we need to make multiple choices, three or more. But, what if we only have a choice of two? Now I have a choice, I can wear the blue shirt, or the white shirt. Okay, so I've got the blue shirt, or the white shirt, and I said I can wear the blue shirt or the white shirt. It is also possible to say I can either wear the blue shirt or the white shirt. Okay, so I can either wear the blue shirt or the white shirt. Um, if I want a cup of coffee, I can either use the small cup or the big cup. If I want to listen to some music, I can either use my headphones or I can use my earbuds. Uh, what about highlighting things? Well, I can, I can either highlight with the green pen or the yellow pen. And in the case I want to wear a hat, I can either wear the blue hat or the brown hat. But if you want to see me wearing a hat, then you can check out my other YouTube channel. There'll be a link to it above. Okay, now in all of those examples, I included the word either, but it's not actually necessary. Okay, um, for example, the, the green pen and the, the yellow pen, I can say I can use the green pen or the yellow pen, and I haven't used either, but it's a good word to use and it shows that your English is improving. So, either use the green pen or the yellow pen. In fact, I might not want to use the yellow pen or the green pen, so I could actually use a negative form. I could say, I don't want to use either pen. And this is also where we get the opportunity to use neither. Okay, so I'm going to use neither of them. So there is a difference between either and neither. Neither will be for another video, I'll explain that in more detail in another video, but um, the idea in English is it's very important not to use double negatives, okay, and the word neither is always associated with negative, so you can't say I don't want neither the yellow pen or the green pen because you've got don't which is negative neither which is negative so two negatives together not possible okay so you can say I don't want either the green pen or the yellow pen that's fine because don't is negative but either alone is not a negative form so this is perfectly correct okay so I don't want to use either the green pen sorry the yellow pen or the green pen Okay, and I'm going to add one more little detail. So imagine now I've got three pens, okay? Uh, blue pen, green pen, and a yellow pen. And in fact, I'm not going to use any of these pens, okay? I'm not going to use any of these pens. So any is possible. Um, or I'm going to use none of them. And none is also going to be explained in more detail in another video. But for the moment, I'm going to leave you with either and a few more examples. So today I have a choice. I can either go to the cinema or I can stay at home watch TV. In a few minutes, I can either make myself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, or I can either give you more examples or allow you to play this video back as many times as you like. I think I'm going to do the second one. So that's been a short look at the, the use specifically of the word either when you have a choice. Um, I hope it's been useful. 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below if you have any doubts or if you have any of your own examples that you would like to share with other people uh, please use the comments and uh, so that's it for this lesson I'm gonna say go practice some English and I'll speak to you soon alright have a good day cheers